I'm now joined on the sports mix by the Spring Mills football head coach, Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team goes to Wheeling Park. It's a 27 nothing win in a shortened game due to weather. But overall, what were your thoughts about that contest? I, mean, I thought it was like really two tails of each side half there. Um, I thought offensively, offensively the first half we really got out to it. Um, and honestly, they showed us the things that we saw on film that we, we kind of prepped for. Um, but the second half offensively, they kind of turned things around a little bit, gave us some things that, you know, also we went back this week and uh, took a look at to try to fix those those different things they wanted to show. And like I tell the kids all the time, it's one of those things, what you put on film is what teams are going to use against you. So we really try to knuckle down and do that. Defensively, I thought those boys played their hearts out. Um, they had really held Willie Parker to check uh, with uh, just limited, really limited offensively there. But to the to the credit though, the way they were flying around to the swarming to the ball it was it was pretty good to see. Your team gets another shutout, so shutting out teams back to back weeks to begin the year. Just talk about how much of a testament that is to uh, how hard nosed your defense is to begin the year. Oh well, it goes back to us stressing the importance of just simple alignment, and you know once we align up correctly to a formation, I mean that's half the battle right there, giving us fifty percent chance. But the way those kids have been flying around to the football and just swarming to it, just a relentless attitude, it's, I mean, it's been good. I mean, it's really been good to us. So, really good to see. Looking ahead now to this week's matchup, you guys uh, will play host to South Hagerstown. What have you seen out of uh, them so far this year? Um, athletic. <laughs> yeah, South Hagerstown, they're always going to be athletic. Um, but I think they do give us some things that we can kind of capitalize on. Um, as far as these guys playing more cover three type deal for us, um, I think their DNs are pretty good. They get upfield. Um, obviously, they're not going to let Max sit there and run the football, but it'll be one of those things like for us just being patient, not forcing the issue, just really taking what they give us. Offensively, um, again, they've got a, a great uh, running back there, uh, never guy there, um, but those are the guys that are going to move around to the ball. And then, again, I think it's one of those things they're going to see what they saw in film and try to use it against us. But we just be ready, ready to play. You guys have uh, been playing South Hagerstown now since 2017 on a yearly basis, other than uh, due to COVID. Mm-hmm. Past two times, you guys have gotten a win against them. What will your team need to do to make it uh, three straight wins? Well, I think we're going to have to play good football on all three sides. You know, just go out the records, whatever you want to say with that. But we're going to have to play good fundamental football um, offensively. I think we're going to have to keep ourselves ahead of chains. Um, dumb penalties will put you behind the chain, and, and that's always seen in the past to be an issue for us to, to recover from that kind of stuff. Defensively, again, lining up correctly to the formations, uh, swarming, boxing things in, and then we've got to we've got to um, be able to uh, react on special teams as well. So, and our goal so far has been to try to get one of these return uh, turn guys on the flip the style field advantage for us as well. Having such a uh, very impressive start to the year for your team, how much has that really hyped up and boosted their confidence so far to hopefully continue throughout the year? Well, I think they're they're extremely hungry. Um, obviously, I mean, everyone likes to go out there and do well, uh, but I think it's one of those things we have to keep ourselves humble as well. Um, going out there with each team, understanding the fact that you can lose any Friday. You know, you just can't show up to a game and expect to win. So that's one of the things we've been preaching to them, and they've taken um, ownership of it to stay humble and go out there and put the best foot forward. All right, Coach, any uh, final thoughts or comments about this week's matchup? If not, we'll get to the uh, fun question for you. No, I just think this game will be fun. Uh, it'll be a testament for us to, kind of, again, to see their speed and, and then being able to take what they give us. But it should be fun. All right, fun question this week is that if you were to win the lottery, what would be your first purchase and why? Oh, um, again, I'm going to be greedy on this. I would love to buy some type of indoor facility for my squad. So that means that way you can get out there um, when it's cold, when it's out, you can always get outside, use your flex days. Would love to have some kind of weight room embedded into it as well. So it's kind of one of those things. This is the football team, so we can use it and get out there when we need to. So I would definitely use it towards like an indoor slash weight room facility. All right. You're the third coach that said that this week. So oh, there yeah, you go. He's a high commodity. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's pretty much on the same page there. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Law. Best of luck on Friday. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir.